New high-tech training tools are now in the Tri-State to help deliver babies. Medical reporter Liz Bonus checked them out today, and she's here to explain how they are helping labor and delivery teams. Liz. Hi, Paula. Good evening. I got to spend some time today with the team at Mercy Health West Hospital. It is one of many area hospitals now making an investment in lifelike training for both pregnancy and baby delivery. The term baby, the heart rate was down um, and there was a lot of meconium at delivery. Baby Leon is having a tough time in this lifelike scenario. You want to go ahead and put the oximeter on him? This labor and delivery team needs to get him breathing after birth. Breathe, two, three, breathe, two, three. The goal is to have his outcome. All right, come on, Mr. Leon, you can do a little bit more here. What every baby outcome should be, nothing less than healthy as quickly as possible. We use him to practice resuscitation maneuvers like chest compressions, um, putting umbilical lines in right away to access the circulatory system so we can give resuscitation drugs. This newer lifelike technology now part of high tech training for many labor and delivery teams across the country. This mom model, Noel as they call her, which by the way is Leon spelled backwards, is also part of the training. Noel can have a normal birth, she can have a breech birth, uh, even a C-section. The team admits that much of this would be used with initial training, but it's always good to have some refreshers and that makes them ready for anything when a mom delivers. It's important to do drills um, with your team and so everyone knows their role and um, you can quickly handle the emergency so you get the best outcome for mom and baby. That's great. Hi, you hear crying? Wee. Little skin to skin there. We got to sample today just a little bit of this scenario so that they can use these for improved outcomes. The goal is to train for things that don't happen very often, but for which the team always wants to be ready. Paula? Thank you, Liz. And these training models are now used in several other scenarios as well, including lifelike scenarios for a heart attack patient or other heart emergency.